Whitetail Ninja Basic Operation. Tools needed. Whitetail Ninja Splicer. Whitetail S326 Cleaver. Fix to removable holders. S211 Fiber Stripper. 250 micron or 900 micron coated fiber. Splice sleeves. Fiber prep fluid. And wipes. Make sure proper eye protection is worn during the following procedures. Turn splicer on. Push and hold power key for about two seconds to turn on. Select the fusion and heater programs for the fiber and protection sleeve that you are using. To select the proper fusion program, from the ready screen, press the menu F1 key to enter the menu screen. Using the arrow keys, navigate to the fusion program icon and press the enter F1 key to select. Select recent programs to select from the programs recently used or all programs to select from all programs installed. Select the proper program by pressing the up and down arrow keys and press the select F1 key. To select the proper heater program, from the ready screen, press the menu F1 key to enter the menu screen. Using the arrow keys, navigate to the heater program icon and press the enter F1 key to select. Select the proper program by pressing the up and down arrow keys and press select F1 key. Fiber preparation. Using removable holders. Place protection sleeve over right or left fiber. Make sure to use the appropriate fiber holder according to the diameter of the fiber coating. Depending on what fiber coating you are using, strip approximately 30 millimeters of 900 micron and 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. Or 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. Load fiber into removable holder with the coating edge even with the end of the holder. Or put fiber into the holder leaving approximately 30 millimeters of 900 micron and 250 micron coating. Strip as close to the end of the holder as possible. And strip the 900 micron and 250 micron coating, leaving bare glass. Wipe the bare fiber with a lint free wipe soaked with fiber prep fluid. Make sure that the single fiber adapter is not installed in the cleaver. Open the fiber cleaver and load the removable holder with the fiber into the cleaver and cleave the fiber. Make sure that the holder is referenced correctly in the cleaver. Open Fusion Splicer Windshield. Remove the removable holder with the cleave fiber from the cleaver and immediately place into the Fusion Splicer. Repeat the procedure for the remaining fiber. Using tight holders or fixed holders. Place protection sleeve over right or left fiber. Depending on what fiber coating you are using, strip approximately 30 millimeters of 900 micron and 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. Or 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. Wipe the bare fiber with a lint free wipe soaked with fiber prep fluid. Open the fiber cleaver, place fiber onto the single fiber adapter and cleave to 10 millimeters. Open fusion splicer windshield, 
Open the lids on the tight holders. Remove cleave fiber from cleaver and immediately place into the fusion splicer tight holder. Align fiber so that the tip of the fiber is close to the center without going over center and the fiber is aligned in the V-groove. Secure fiber position by closing the tight holder lid. Repeat the procedure for the remaining fiber. Arc check. Fibers melt or fuse at different temperatures. It is necessary to adjust the arc power in order to ensure optimum splicing results. As well, electrode wear, environmental conditions, temperature, humidity, altitude can affect the splicing results. The arc check should be performed as follows. At the beginning of daily operation, when the environmental conditions has changed considerably, after replacing or cleaning electrodes. Open the windshield and load fibers. Ensure that the fibers are properly stripped, cleaned, and cleaved. Fiber preparation was covered in the previous section of this video. Close the windshield. From the ready screen, press the F1 menu key to enter the menu. Select Arc Check in the menu screen and press Enter F1 key. Then Ninja Fusion Splicer automatically feeds the fibers and discharges an arc. During the arc discharge, the fiber feeding motors of the Ninja Fusion Splicer remain idle, preventing the fiber ends from budding. As a result, the fiber ends melt back. The arc check function specs how far the fibers melt back in the centered position of the fiber. If the arc check results are good, the message result OK is displayed in the pop-up window. Press OK to ensure that the ready screen is displayed on the monitor. If the results are negative, result NG. Try again is displayed. Press enter and the machine will automatically adjust the arc power and then return to the main menu screen. If result is NG, repeat the arc check until the new values are acceptable. It is necessary to remove the fibers and prepare them again with a new cleave. If unsatisfactory results are obtained after four arc check attempts, inspect the electrodes for wear or damage and replace them if necessary. When the data output parameter in the setting menu is set to active or PC, detailed arc check data is shown in the result. Pressing Optimize enables automatic adjustment of the arc power, while Cancel does not adjust or complete the arc check.